Well, there's often a need in a set of landscape drawings to have some sort of location plan. Google Earth and Google Maps provides a convenient way to get a labelled location plan. And to do that, I'll go back into the model and pan out to a reasonably clear area. And I'll use the Insert Google Maps Image option. Now, type into the location parameter bar. You could type in latitude or longitude or Google uh, GPS, KLM files and so on, or an address. So I've typed Carlton Gardens, Melbourne, and I've selected Go. So we fly to the gardens. We could then use the plus sign to zoom in a little, and then we could move our pan and center our image. At this point, we probably want to turn on the satellite view. So now we've got a nicely centered view of Carlton Gardens. One other thing that I would do is change the scale to give me twice the number of pixels, and then I'll OK. And what will happen once we, we save it, we'll call this concept, no, we won't, we'll call this location Carlton. It's the name of the image file, and it's going to be a PNG file. And it will go, the image that is, will be automatically loaded into the image file manager. So location Carlton was the image we just captured. There's some others there where I've been rehearsing this. And we're going to insert the image. And we'll say OK. We're asked for an insertion point, like so. So there's the Google Earth image all labelled. You could turn off labelling if you want in the um, in the Google Earth tool, but you get quite a respectable high resolution image taken from Google Earth of what in fact is the site for these pop up designs that are going to be used. So I hope that illustrates the value of using Google Earth and Google Maps in order to get location data. You can, of course, draw on top of that image and put additional vector information, but that's a movie for another day.